What's going on, basketball fans? We had our first games back uh, since the All-Star break, and I'm going to talk about two games in particular and just kind of the storylines coming out of the game. I want to talk about uh, Kyrie and Luka getting their first win as a tandem last night against the San Antonio Spurs, and then I want to talk about the Lakers' victory over uh, the Golden State Warriors and how it actually may be a good sign for their playoff hopes. We're going to get into all that and more right after this. Number one place for your daily basketball fix, NBA Central. Hosted by the one and only CEO Hayes. All right, welcome to another episode of NBA Central. Right off the top, you can follow me if you choose to do so at CEO Hayes, at CEO H-A-I-Z-E. And we're going to start it right off. We're talking about Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving getting their first victory as a uh, tandem, breaking a three-game losing streak. And the thing in this game that we, that and the thing that I've been saying for a while is that for this to work, it's going to take Luka to sacrifice. He's going to have to sacrifice to play with Kyrie Irving. And in this game, be it against a 14-win San Antonio Spur team, we did see Luka and Kyrie Irving combined for 51 points, 16 assists, and 8 rebounds. And that's good. Both Luka and Kyrie Irving, uh, Luka having 16 shots and Kyrie Irving having 13, uh, they both make 8 of their respective shots in that as well. Now, they do go 4 of 10 from the three-point line as a tandem, but overall, a solid three-point shooting night from the Dallas Mavericks in this game. They go 22 of 42 from the uh, three-point line. Christian Wood chips in 16 points off the bench. Holiday chips in 15 points off the bench. And Tim Hardaway Jr. goes 6 of 11 from three-point range to get them 22 points off the bench. This was probably the best version of the Dallas Mavericks offense that we've seen yet, and this is how that they should look to play going towards the playoffs. That's Luka and Kyrie being very selective with their shots, right? Neither one of them uh, eclipsing 20 shots. And again, this is against a 14-win team, so more so talking about the way that they went about it than the, than the win, right? They went by almost 30 points. You're not going to do that against the upper echelon teams in the Western Conference, but the way that Kyrie and Luka played in this game is the way that we want to see them play as a unit, as a tandem. Really, Luka, you know, not taking as many shots, but both of them shooting the ball fairly efficiently, or not fairly, they both shot it efficiently. Luka 50% from the field, Kyrie Irving uh, ab- uh, almost 60% from the field. That's how you want to see these players play. Now, are they going to be able to shoot this efficient every single night? No, that's unreasonable to ask them to shoot this way every single night. But the way that they're playing and, 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 and they executed, that's how things are going to work. Uh, every member of the starting lineup as well in double digits, the, the the Dallas Mavericks in this game having eight players in double digits, this was the most encouraging. And keep in mind, I'm the guy who said on an episode earlier this week that um, I may not see Dallas winning a, a playoff series this year if they can play like this. Yes, the defense is still going to be an issue. The defense wasn't amazing or anything like that. They were facing a team with only 14 wins in which they should have blown them out. But I like the style in, in which they played in this game. And I think that even if you don't get the, the, the bench contributions that you got last night consistently, this is a way that this team can go about playing that's going to get them victories and maybe even see them winning a playoff series. So, you know, shout out to the Dallas Mavericks for having that success, getting that first victory with these two players being in that lineup. And let's see if they can build upon this. Let's see if now that they've had some success, they start trusting each other. Luka realizes that he has to really that he does have to sacrifice for Kyrie and especially if they want Kyrie to stay past this season you have to create that environment do those things and at least last night the Dallas Mavericks executed it well now the next game that we're going to talk about is the Los Angeles Lakers and this is a team that I have been very high on after their moves at the trade deadline and the Roy Hachimura trade that came a little bit before the trade deadline this was a game that you saw that um Anthony Davis and LeBron James have their supporting cast and the importance of that supporting cast. LeBron and Anthony Davis only combining for 25 points in this game. You get Malik Beasley scoring 25 points himself. Denny Schroeder scored 13 points off the bench. You got Rui Hachimura with 14 off the bench. Mo Bamba chipping in another 10. Austin Reeves and Lonnie Walker all getting in double digits as well. This was a game that you really looked at and you said, hey, if this Laker thing works, and they can play like this, and the supporting cast can play in the way that they did last night, this is absolutely going to be a team that we're going to be talking about once the playoffs start, and if they get into that momentum, right, for the for the Lakers to play 
and make the playing tournament, come out that playing tournament, and then they go to the playoffs, that means they're going to have to be playing some of the best basketball in the NBA at that time. And the supporting cast is going to be a big reason why they do that. If LeBron and Anthony Davis, who have their own issues with health this season, things like that, if they get this type of support, right, and that balance attack from that support, it's going to make this a dangerous team if they make it into the playoffs. Now, I keep saying that if, right, because it's they, they have a tall test above them. And they're, I, I don't think that there's enough runway left for the Los Angeles Lakers to avoid that playing tournament. So they're going to have to get out that playing tournament. But as they're trying to figure things out, as they're fighting through things, this team is looking good. It was a great overall team win for the Los Angeles Lakers last night. And yeah, they did it against a Golden State Warriors team that's struggling themselves and have their own issues. But it's the, but the, the cast, right? Seeing that supporting cast do the things that they, that they did in last night's game, it definitely makes you think that this Lakers team, as much as we were writing them off and, and kind of seemed like the nail was in the coffin of the Los Angeles Lakers, that it's not as doom and gloom for this team overall as what it may look like. So we'll continue to monitor that and see how that grows and develops over the course of the of the rest of the season left, the 20 or so odd games that every team has left. But at least last night, the Lakers and the Mavericks, some of the things that I've been kind of critiquing them on and their ability to do, it's, it's it, listen, at least last night, coming out of the All-Star break, those teams look pretty good. Let's see if it continues and maintains for the team. Um, and if it does, th th they're both going to make it very interesting in the playoffs. I'm not ready to change my predictions on either team quite yet. I do think the Lakers can make it interesting in the playoffs. I do think that they have enough if they come together to make it out the playing uh, tournament. I just don't really know how far I see them going in the first year of this team being together. But another offseason, the Lakers will have more money. They have actual cap space on top of everything else that they have. The Lakers can absolutely, if they play their cards right, be a contending team next season. There's already some rumors Kyrie may be coming to them and, you know, with the cap space that they have. But if the like looking at these two teams and how they finish the season, it may really give either team a leg up in the Kyrie Irving sweepstakes at the end of the season. But outside of that, I really do. I, I, I like what the Lakers are doing. I'm not ready to pick them to make it too far in the playoffs. And I'm not ready to change my mind on the Dallas Mavericks winning a playoff series quite yet. I need to see it happen for a longer amount of time and against better competition for both teams. But at least as far as last night, they did some things that point in the right direction and maybe some things turning around for this team. Now, before we go as well, I got to talk about it because it's one of my favorite players ever, Derrick Rose. There's some rumors that came out today that the Phoenix Suns may be interested in Derrick Rose. And it's funny that, that this is coming out because there's been no indication that Derrick Rose is going to be bought out. None. Doesn't seem likely. Um, you know, there are Bulls fans that were hoping if he was going to be bought out, he'd come back to the Bulls. I don't necessarily know if that's going to happen, but hearing that the Phoenix Suns do want to add another ball handler to that team may be an indication of where they go in this offseason, depending on how things end for the season for them. But it doesn't seem like Derrick Rose is going to be getting bought out. And if he does, it'll be a late buyout. And if he does join the, the Phoenix Suns, you know, we'll see what happens with that. But just something to monitor here as we go to look forward. But that is it for me for today. Make sure you're following the show on every social media platform that we're on. Uh, at NBA Central Pod. You can send us any feedback, questions, comments, concerns, NBA Central Show at gmail.com. And then lastly, if you want to leave us a text message and our voicemail, 773 270 Oh, uh, yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace. This has been a presentation of the Breaks, Breaks, Breaks Media. 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 Media.